Took your advice about cold showers from yesterday. I swear that was the best shower of my life. Yes, okay. sir. Yes, I'm sir. telling you. It does wonders. It's hard as shit to do. It's so hard, but you can do it. My name is Jules. I'm a Radiant player. If you enjoy this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe considering 80% of you guys are still not subscribed. I do these coaching sessions live, so you're more than welcome to swing by the stream and ask questions. If you're interested in coaching yourself, click the link in the description, click the book a lesson button, and select your plan in time. Lastly, if you want a chance to win free coaching, be sure to comment down below your Discord name and why you think you deserve it. I'll be picking out a person randomly. Other than that, enjoy the video. Hey, All right, flat two. Okay, the call was a main. Ooh, what are you waiting for the molly for? The flash? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think you're good. You're pretty good. I like this a lot. One more. I was scared you're gonna molly early. Still what right I usually there. do is like, if you're playing an agent with mollies, the second I hear drone or dog the second i hear them or your team calls it out you throw the molly why because when people drone and dog out or enemy teams like to walk out with the drone right they like to scale with the drone uh and you stop them from scaling and they might get the info but by the time the molly runs out their info is no longer good uh so it, it's really good to do that and i'm glad that you waited on that molly i, I would argue you won the round because of that i, I mean Easy. maybe not they're echoing but whatever the principle stays the same <laughs> Fight planted. Oh, one's still true. 100 on this guy. This is gonna be hard. You need to Rain get this kill on the radar. Tree. One's it. Yeah, it's tough. Two tree, two tree. 141 Rain 101 no sky. Where was the sky? Heaven. Uh, You're better. Uh, He's so much. We can we can learn here from teammates. 101 on the sky. Great calm. But where was she? <laughs> That's more important than how much HP she is. She has right. Tiles. One tiles, one Sabrosa. Tiles, Sabrosa. Okay, I actually like this peak. I know you guys were gonna say, "Oh, you shouldn't have peaked this." Actually, I think you should have peaked this. Why? Because you guys are down numbers. You need to even it out. But I actually like the peak here. Even though you didn't win the gunfight, I thought the peak was still good. So not all peaks are bad. When you're down numbers, they're good, especially when you have a 1v1. Because how else are you going to come back into the round? You need to isolate the 1v1s. Now, if it was a 1v2, I thought that would have been awful. One was the Rosa. Okay, so three mid and one A mid, right? That's what we know. They're splitting A. You smoke Two off cat, cat here. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're coming A. No, they're going to fall here. I would rotate B. Your your fade needs to go B. Right now, they could be rotating B. Yeah. Hey, he's just grief. A uh, little grief. That was a little grief on that rotation. Okay, you're in a 2v4 now. Last player standing. Jets mid boosted. Okay, reposition. Walk, 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 walk. Spike planted. Yeah, they're just taking mid control and sending a bunch up mid. They're dogging out tree. Smoke cat, smoke cat, uh, smoke I'm cat. Got walk, I'm got smoke two, two, two. All Maybe right. even three. Good rotation. Yeah, yeah, coming A. You guys fight this? Yup. This is good. This play is good. I can already tell uh, you guys mid, are winning mid, this mid. round. Yeah. Jet mid, jet mid. Yeah, yeah, both there. Jet's there, Omen's there. Okay, these rotations by your teammates are so grief, man. Bro, what happens if, if Omen ults B right now? I, I think you're playing it good, though. All right, good round. Good round, guys. Yeah, this was a really good rotation uh, for you at the start yeah, of the round. They're too greedy for peaks. I think the phase rotations are way too greedy. You need to go market though. I I think you're playing a little. Uh, okay, okay. So this is okay. This is a consistent thing. Your rotations are good, especially on brim. I think here I would be playing around market instead of back spawn. I think you're giving a little bit too much space. Urena is aggressive mid and you have B main smoked. I would be floating around market here and trying to play off of my arena. Okay, here's what you gotta be thinking. Well, what happens if they walk up mid and my arena is in a 1v1? Am I there to trade that kill? You're not. This is something to think about here with arena mid, but I like the floatingness. You wanna float on brim. You need to float like this. This is good. However, I probably would have been floating around market a little bit instead of spawn this side. So after smoking off B main, I would have walked up into market. I pretty much only play like this on brim so I can smoke and molly both sides more easily. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. It is good. It is, you're exactly right. You're not wrong with that thought process, but just stuck in the corner. you wanna be floating. You can still do the, see? 74. Jet mid. This was a great example. Your Reyna just died mid. You weren't there to get that trade. Imagine you were market here. Imagine you're market in this spot and you're just like, Reyna, tuck. And I play off for contact. That's guaranteed at least, at least the trade of the kill. At least, if not more. Spike down, mid. You have smoke. 
You smoke top, top mid here. Timber top mid with ult. Nice. Okay. Launching smoke. And we don't know where the uh, sky is. We have a molly. Oh god. Fucked out of the smoke. Yeah. Superosa. Superosa. This guy could be pushed One through B. Enemy nice. I think he's coming market on you. Last unknown. I really have a weird feeling he's market. <laughs> Oh, hey, okay, nice. you had the same idea. Good stuff, good stuff. Great, great awareness, great awareness. Now it sounds fast, B. Smoke's down. Holly. Jump on sight. Mmm, I would have peaked this. Store? Yeah, you're giving them too much. Blinding for you, Brim? After nah. the rain eye? I would have fought. I would have fought. I would have fought here. This is too late to fight this. This is too late to fight this. You missed the timing. You missed the timing. You were either supposed to fight there on site after you threw that molly and fight the fight, have that 1v1 with that jet because you knew that it was mollied, or you wait for your team to retake here and you get, you let your fade die. This is, I think this timing is off here. We can already see what the hell is about to happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? But. Oh, that's three oh, no. That was best case scenario. Never mind. Be careful with these timings. Uh, because I would have peaked with the Molly and tried to 1v1 the jet, or you just wait for team for the team and retake together. I know that you, you know, your your Reina called for the peak here, but your Reina was probably smoked off. Both pushing like that, I, I think was scary. Okay, I'd probably jump spot here. They're probably going A. A lot A main. Mm. Are they committed there? 71 That's a good home. Switch, switch, switch. Y you have all. I'll dog this. Switch, yeah, switch, switch. Commitment, the commitment here. I don't like I'll this commitment. This. Also, don't be afraid to just rip your ult. You've had your ult for a couple rounds now. Sometimes, even if they're echoing, guarantee the round. Fuck it. Just rip that. Just, just fuck it. Like, if they're rushing in somewhere and they have sight, just because they're echoing, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't look to win that round or commit stuff to that round. When they have a sight like that, I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared because the round could look uh, grim here. Regardless, I think the commitment here on that Reyna was not the move. He gets the one. All right, all right. No worries. I don't mind the swing out. I would have swung out too. I think the commitment on the arena is the only problem there. I do that too much on Brim. I'm holding my ult. Yeah, I'm noticing there. that. I think you've had it now for three rounds. You could have been farming for another one. You can look to get two ults right in the half. If you're Jets using them tree, correctly. Tree. Smoke, smoke, They're smoke, smoke. I would have smoked for sure here. Ult the plant. All right, good. Good, good, good. I can ult this. I can ult this. Ult for, ult for the retake. Very nice. Smoke off and main. Careful close. Careful close. How? All right. Probably mid. Yeah. Good. Good, 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 good. I, don't, I, mean, I mean, you're playing well. I don't know. <laughs> you're, you're honestly playing well. I, I think it's some of your rotations and a little bit of not playing off of your team. Your timings are a little bit off from what I can tell on defense, like with, with when you should be pushing and when you should be retaking with your team. I think that's like the main thing I'm noticing on defensive side. Okay, so I probably would have been swinging with my jet here. Instead of holding out util, so be careful. Yeah, 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 yeah. So be careful holding out util sometimes. You want to use it reactively like you have been, but you don't want to tunnel vision on the util. Just because you're playing Brim, that doesn't mean that you don't want to help support your team sometimes. You have a guy fighting cat, you have a guy pushed up mid, just run up mid with a jet and then just take this aggressive fight and then smoke afterwards. So be careful not to tunnel vision on the ETH a little bit. It's very important to look to trade your teammates' deaths. That's the most important thing. Always trading deaths on your team is, is such an important concept that a lot of people struggle with. Like, see how your judges died? You probably could have traded her mid on that Reyna, even if it is Reyna. There's always that window. I die on Reyna all the time. You know how many times I die, I push my dismiss key, it doesn't go through. But no, for the most part, defense is going good. Just be careful not to tunnel vision on the ETO. Safety's off. What'd you get? Ghost? Triple smoke? Wrong button. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the smokes. I don't like the smokes. 
I don't like the smokes for for a couple reasons. It's it, it is it is a good smoke where you don't have to worry about heaven. I don't know. It gives them too much space. It gives them too much space. So they can play in the smoke. They can jump out. They can pop flash if the sky was in heaven. You wasted all, the all of your util. You have nothing for post plant. Uh, they could be in the smokes. They could be on the. They could be tucked in heaven after the smokes drop. They could be all over heaven and they could also be hell because it's not cleared. You're giving them a lot of space for these smokes. I I'm not a big fan of them. If you're we're gonna smoke heaven, you want to smoke it deep. You want to smoke it deep so they have to commit to the fight. And when they do, you you kill them. You want to take some gunfights, and then you have one smoke left for the for the post plant, right? Like after they break door, after you plant the bomb, this the heaven smoke drops. Maybe then you smoke door again, or you smoke heaven again. Okay, so this is good to get yourself into sight, but it's not good for post plant. Yeah, so here I would have resmoked, right? I would have resmoked door. door. Now you're kind of forced to these gunfights. Yeah. Door, door. I also don't like this positioning either. I don't think this is good positioning. Number one thing when taking a sight. What? What is it? The second you take sight and have control of sight, somebody needs to be watching flank or, or taking back the control of what you, you, you came from, okay? What do I mean by that? You guys came from A main. You guys got into sight for free. You know A main's still clear unless they timing you, and obviously they don't have a trip anymore. But somebody should just immediately go back main. I don't care if you're smoked off, you go back main. Someone goes back main. Otherwise, you ha you're you're giving up too much control. Look how much control you get you gave them on the map. We have they have heaven, they have tree, and they have B main. They have the holy fucking trinity. You're fucked. You're 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 stuck on sight, and you're gonna get pinched from all three sides if they're good. You need a control of a choke point. Remember that. You need a control of a choke point. You need you need tree. You need heaven. You need B main. Not uh, heaven, not really plausible. Tree, not really plausible unless you split it and went from cat. But you need B main. You need A main control. So make sure you have control of a choke point on attack side. Okay. Same way on B. Same way on B. Imagine you guys go B, you take B side control and nobody's B main. It's so hard to win that round. It's so hard to win that round when all five of you guys are funneled into sight. They can retake so easily with you till you're fucked. I think you bring bomb near uh, B and we try to make some noise here. Oh, sorry, bring A, bring A. And we make noise on B. Smoke's down. I actually don't mind. I don't mind those smokes this round. I, this is one round. I wouldn't mind those smokes. Your whole goal is to get a sight and plant the bomb. Yeah, I think you just double up hell here. 104 on the chamber. You don't, you don't fight this angle. You're fucked. You are so unbelievably fucked. <laughs> okay, I, I think it's your post plant positioning. I, I think that's like your biggest weakness right now. I'm not liking the way that you're you're positioning yourself here. One heaven, one heaven. Ah, uh, go main. Or no, more. you had the right idea. Uh, you, this, you're giving up. You guys are giving up so much control. I can't wait for the round where they actually come from all three sides. That'd be nice to see. Post plant positioning. Okay. Post plant positioning. I can't stress this enough. This is your biggest weakness at the moment. After you plant, always look to pull, uh, to play the bomb and run out the timer. Every time I walk into the smoke and I'm like, oh shit, I can't fight with my team. Then I go back in the site. I, I get, I understand the logic behind that, but so when you should, when should you be playing with your team? You should be fighting for your team every time they're trying to take gunfights when you're trying to scale into a site or you're trying to defend something. Here, you don't have to defend anything. You just have to play the bomb. The objective isn't to kill the enemy team at this point. The objective is to let the timer run out. Always focus on the primary objective. You'll win so many rounds without even shooting your gun if you do that. What would you consider to be overcoming? I calm a lot of my rank games, but then get worried that I say too much. Overcoming would be um backseat gaming kind of stuff but okay this is what i would call them. watch we'll, we'll go around with what you guys should be coming okay okay this is where i would come are we committing to the site do you guys want smokes for spawn this is what i would be coming right now i'd ask your team try and find out what the hell's going on right before they even jump in there i see my reina i see my reina a i'm not committing to the site I'm not committing to this. This is more of like a game sense thing. It's not more of a calm thing, but this is where I would be like, guys, let's just make noise. We don't have to commit. Let's let Reyna lurk up and we run back A. Util, Util's fine. I wouldn't be like, Chamber, you have four bullets in your head, Hunter. You know what I mean? Like, I, I would never do that. Reyna, you have a fly. Yeah, like, that, these aren't these aren't calms you want to give your teammates. Could be main. Oh, it could very well be main. Be very careful. You guys saw nothing in A site. Good chance this guy's main. And waiting for his team to retake. Ooh. Two door, That's two door. scary. That was scary. No smokes. You okay. gotta walk, you gotta walk, you gotta walk. They, they might have heard you. One door. Nice. 
2v2. Yeah, well, play, the play the bomb. Play the bomb, play the bomb, play the bomb. Oh! One enemy remaining. Nice. Wait, guys. So I would have knifed out around uh, here, or I would have ran back towards Cat. Uh, this was very scary. Chamber. Even popping your ult out in the open like this. Careful with this. I popped that shit. Nice. I would throw a molly for Marky, yeah? Or spawn, yeah. yeah. One, nice trade. One on stairs. Stairs, stairs, stairs. stairs. Nice trade. Ooh, that was kind of clean. Arena hit a nice shot. You guys are falling in the trap of. Okay, don't don't do this. Don't fall in the trap where you guys go B. B fails. You're like, all right, team, let's go A. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's very predictable. People are gonna start stacking. Uh, and it's it's just autopiloting. Autopiloting on attack side. How do you how do you counteract this? Just be like, guys, we're gonna hit B again. The exact same. Do the exact same thing, right? That's what you can do. Or run a default, okay? But don't do this. Don't do this flip floppy strat. Okay, splitting A. Uh, except no one is name in. Uh, you should throw smokes here. Don't even peek. This is just bad peek. You, you have a smoke. Hey. This could have been avoided. You want to avoid... So, when pushing into sites, you want to try and avoid as many gunfights as possible. Sounds crazy, I know. Going back to what I was saying, your main objective is to plant the bomb. If you have to, you can take fights, but eliminate these chances of running into people. I would have smoked tree. I would have smoked heaven. Fight it that way. Clear that. And then maybe you can clear main together. Whatever. He was an ultimate rat. Still am, baby. Smoke mid, though. This is a good smoke, but make sure you're smoking mid, too. Make sure you smoke mid for them to cross right we missed the smoke here we missed the smoke here uh i'm gonna blind right away yeah blind right away blind right away good good go go molly spawn you molly spawn here on lane Fox site. so go main go main go main man this is this. what I'm saying. Your is so weak. many rounds on a tackle. I would have went main. I would have went main so fast. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Two market, one CT. Got to play numbers. Got to play numbers. It's a 4v3. We don't peek this. We don't peek this. You don't want to give them fair gunfights. You don't want to give them fair gunfights. All right. I can't stress it enough. This is a fair gunfight. He peaks market. You're peaking market. You, you guys are just like, all right, let's see who, who practice aim labs better. You don't want to do this. You, you want to just tuck. You want to play numbers. You want to play off of your team. You want to play like a rat. I would hide in, in main. You, you want to just play more ratty. She's heaven. She was heaven. Molly. See? Look at how much space you, you gave him, right? You're like, oh, I don't know. They could be anywhere. They could be anywhere, heaven, right? Let's All right. Go, boy. Okay, overall, I, I thought you played pretty okay. Send the replay summary. Terry Arc, let's see. What did you do well in the session? Oh, okay. I like this. I like this. Um, So a couple things that I thought you did really well. Defensive side specifically. I love the way that you're floating. You want to do that a lot on Brim, right? You want to be everywhere on the map. You want to smoke everything. Anytime they're trying to rush into something, stall them. Really good. Rotations are good. Um, some of them could be a little bit more efficient, but uh, for the most part, really good. Overall aim was decent too. Practicing before the next session. All right, here's the big ones. Okay, so a couple things to practice, okay? One, post plan situations, right? I mentioned this a, a lot, but I want to stress it. If you take sight on attack, as soon as you've cleared sight, somebody needs to watch flank. And if nobody's watching flank, it needs to be you. Go back to where you came from and then hold that control for your team. Post plants in general, right? You need to not take gunfights. You want to play like a rat. You want to play the bomb, you want to play the objective. The whole objective is to wait out that timer, let it expand and uh, or explode, and then you win the round. Secondary um, would be to eliminate the team. Play off of your team when you're up numbers and uh, try and trade them off. For the next sessions, okay. So for the next session, I would really just want to try and break down comms. And on top of that, how you're approaching the attack side. Making sure that you guys have a very good plan. Kind of polishing your overall game sense to understand like how we can take control of around on attack side. A lot of times you guys did this like flip floppy, Oh, we, we, we go B, B doesn't work, we group up, we go A, right? And stuff like that. You started doing it towards the end there where you're just like, oh guys, fall off, we can go back this way. That's good, um, but just being a little bit more uh, aware of that and what works and what could work. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Coaching sessions completed. We've done it, we've done it.